Okay, welcome to your sixth HTML tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we'll be covering uh, radio buttons and check boxes. What is a radio button? A radio button is um, an option which allows you to select um, one um, from uh, an array of options. Okay, so as you can see here, you can only select one option. However, uh, uh, a checkbox, checkboxes, you can select several options from an array of options. As you can see here, I could select several options. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. Let's close this out. Okay, um, we need to start out with our form element. Open form. Close form. Within the form, we need to put our action, which equals um, the same page, which is index. Uh, PHP. Uh, we need to also put our method. Okay, we're going to use get since we want we want to see um, what we chose. We want to see it in the URL, so we're going to use get. Okay, now um, we're going to the first <coughs> element tag element we're going to use is the paragraph. Okay, so we go to put p close p. And within the paragraph element, we're going to put uh, some text. Uh, so we could say, uh, What gender are you? Okay, um, below the P, below the paragraph element, we're going to put in our radio buttons. Okay, now. The radio buttons uses the input tag as well, so we're going to put input. Remember, it's one input tag. Type. Okay, this time we're going to use radio as a type. Okay, we're going to give it a name. Let's say um, gender. Okay, and we're going to give it. We could give it a. We also need to give it a value. B A O U E. Okay, the value will be let's say male. Okay, now um, outside of the the, the the element, we need to put uh, the, a label, which will be male. Okay, let's give it a break. So let me go on to the next line. Okay. To the next line, let's put in another uh, input radio button. I'm going to give it a type of radio as well. Okay, now the name needs to be the same as the first um, name we put in. So it's going to be gender. Okay, so we are choosing from a group of options, so we're going to put the name the same as gender. And the value is going to be different this time. Value equals female. Okay, and we need to put a label. Okay, and let's put a break as well. Okay, let's run this in the browser to see how it looks. Control S to save. Let's open up our browser, Chrome. Localhost first website index.php. Okay, now you see here we have a label. This is our paragraph which says what gender are you? Um, we have the, the options male or female. Now you could only choose one one option from this from these two options right here. Okay, so let's go on to the next one, the checkbox. Let's put a paragraph tag. Okay, let's ask the, the, the user um, what type of food do you like? Okay, now we're going to give them an option, so checkboxes. Um, the checkbox has the same input tag, HTML tag as well, uses the same input HTML tag as well. Input. Type. This time we're going to put checkbox. Okay, name 
we're going to say food. Okay, and the value, we're going to put the value as, let's say, um, pizza. Okay, outside of the element, we're going to put a label, pizza, and we're going to give it a break. Okay, let's put in another input option. Type equals checkbox as well. It must be the same. Okay, the name needs to be the same as well, which is food. Okay, and the value would be different, which would be um, let's call this one cake. Okay, and let's give it a label of cake. Let's put a break. Okay, and let's run this in the browser to see how it looks. Control S to save. And let's refresh this. Now you see here what type of food do you like? And we have here pizza. We can choose as many options as well. Let's put in another one. Let's put input type check box I'm gonna give it a name of food okay now this time we're gonna give it a value let's call this one cheese okay and let's give it a label of cheese and let's give it a break as well okay let's run this in the browser save it control s okay so here we have what type of food do you like and you could choose all the options if you want or you could choose just one or you could choose two right and here the radio um, you can only choose one option Right from these these two options right here. Okay, now let's put in a submit button. Now remember, all of this is within the form element as well. So let's put an input type equals submit. Okay, and let's put a value equals send. Okay. Um, let's put a break here, another break, so that it will push it down low, below the, the, the last input. Okay. <clears throat> let's save this. And view it in the browser. Okay, we have our send button here. So whatever we choose, let's say we choose meal, and let's say we choose pe we like pizza and cake, and we send it in the browser. As you can see here, we have the gender, right? The gender, which is which is from this one, this option right here, the radio buttons. The gender we chose is meal. The and sign will automatically be placed, and the food option, right? We chose pizza, and we the, uh, another food option we chose cake. Right. So let's go back. Okay. Let's, so let's recap what we did. Okay. We created our form elements. Um, we created a paragraph tab to contain a label which says, "What gender are you?" The question and accent to the user. We have our input type radio. That, that's the radio button. So the name is gender, um, and the value is male. And we do the same thing, but this time we put the value female and the gender. The names of these two radio buttons, since they are a group. Right, needs to be the same. Um, we do the same thing for the, the, the checkbox, right? And the name is food, and the value is whatever value we chose, right? We we want the user to choose, which is pizza, cake, or cheese, and we put the submit button to submit that information to the URL, okay? And so whatever we choose is going to be submitted 
to the URL as parameters. Okay, this question mark is automatically going to replace. We have gender, okay, which is the gender chose was female. The and sign will automatically be placed, and the, the food chose was pizza, and food chose again was cake. Now, like I did in the previous tutorial, uh, we could use PHP to grab this information and display it on the page, or we could use PHP to grab this information and display and submit it to a database such as MySQL that we can store in where we can store information and later retrieve retrieve if we want to use it at a later date. Okay, but we're gonna get into all this. We're gonna get into PHP, MySQL as well in later tutorials. Okay, but I just wanted to put this first tutorial this tutorial on HTML uh, we're gonna stick with HTML and continue later on. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. You have a nice day.